Hey Taurus, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, there will be an extended at the end of the reading. The link for that will be in the description below. That's where we go over everything pertaining to your partner. What do they want? Who else is here? Who else is involved in your guys' situation? A lot of really other good things. Um, I am doing personal readings, so you can check out my website. The link will be in the description below. And I am offering one or two question readings, which is a more affordable option. So the link for that will also be in the description below. Taurus, let's just hop into it. Okay. What is the overall, what message, and I'm starting off with an Oracle message, just so you guys know, what is your message for Taurus? What is your message for Taurus romantically right now? What messages do you have for Taurus when it comes to love and romance? Okay. So Taurus, right now, I feel like there's a lot of fear. I feel like there's a fear in letting go or a fear in not knowing what's to come. Like, I feel like for some reason, and I'm saying this because you have divine will, which is the fear of letting go. You have um, emotional challenges, which is all about resolving, is it raining? Oh my God, I fucking love the rain. Um, it's all about resolving, resolving the issue right? And then we also have create inner harmony and navigate through distractions. First of all, I feel like there's a lot going on up there, Taurus. Some of you guys may have a lot of Gemini energy, but there's something up here where it's like, I feel like you have headaches. I feel like you've been crying a lot. I feel like you want a level of inner harmony, but I feel like that starts when one, you acknowledge what are you scared of? Are you afraid of losing the person? Are you afraid of a relationship? Like what exactly is it? Why are you scared of it, right? And I think it's about acknowledging like what about me need, that I need to fix. And I feel like when you resolve the issue, which tends to be with our emotional, right? Tends to be emotional. You're able to align yourself to where the universe wants you to go and it cuts out all of your distractions. So when you're in a good place mentally, let me tell you, everything else flows the way that it's needing to flow. And I feel like the moment that you navigate yourself out of those toxic situations or those toxic mind frames, that's when all of a sudden your mind is at ease and you have the ability to kind of rest easy, right? Yo, I'm so stoked that it's raining. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like this is my, yo, I love the rain. I love the rain. All right. Okay. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. I'm gonna ask for messages with uh, this bad boy right here. All right, what messages do you have for Taurus with love and romance? Messages from their person, what's going on? What do you want me to know? Current situation with Taurus romantically, okay? what I have Taurus I have the nine of wands the seven of pentacles and the two of pentacles okay seven of pentacles nine of wands two of pentacles so I have Sag energy here um this can definitely be moon and Sagittarius I also have the seven of pentacles here and the two of pentacles Jupiter and Capricorn and then the seven of pentacles is either wow it's coming down hopefully you guys can hear me could this be like an ASMR? You guys are like fall asleep. Um, okay. So here's what I'm gathering. I'm gathering that you or your person has been waiting, right? I feel like one of you guys has invested a lot into a relationship, a lot into the situation, and it feels like it's always in balance or it feels like it's out of balance. I feel like there's somebody here that's watching and waiting at a distance. And also like, I feel like one person is waiting and one person is evaluating whether or not this relationship works. And it may be because there's some other person involved or a third party situation. All right, let me keep going. Okay. Okay, I have the Son of Cups reversed, which is the Knight of Cups. 
I have the Six of Cups upright and I have the Ace of Swords upright. This may be somebody from your past, okay? I, I, I feel like, I hope this isn't offensive, but I feel like for some of you guys, your person, you, you've built this person up to be somebody better than what they really are. Like, I feel like in the inside, this is a very shallow person. I feel like this is somebody who doesn't have a problem talking to more than one person. I feel like this is somebody who, um, isn't honest with their communication or there is a lack of communication pertaining to romance like there's no messages there's no movement like this person likes to keep what they're doing very secretive and i feel like it's for a level of control some of you may be dealing with a scorpio or a pisces okay information here please can you give me some more information Okay. I feel like for you guys, um, Taurus, and maybe I'm wrong, and flip it, if you're a cross watcher, sometimes you guys have to flip the stories. But here's what I'm gathering. I feel like there's a lack of movement, okay? I feel like there is either too much distance in between you guys, where whether this is physical distance or emotional distance, and I feel like there's a lack of conversation. Mercury in um, Sagittarius, this is reverse, okay? Th there's not a lot of opti- like I feel like for you, Taurus, you're not very optimistic about this situation going anywhere. And I feel like you're really in your head and you're stuck because you're like, I don't know what way to go, I don't know what to do, but to move forward. And I feel like you want forward movement and I feel like for you, it's like too much going on for you mentally to figure out what the hell this person wants. Because it's always, I feel like there's always gaslighting. It's start, stop, right? Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, daughter of pentacles, breadcrumbing, okay? And I feel like where it's leaving you is it's leaving you stuck in those four cups where it's like, I don't know what to do and I know what I want. Like, I feel like you want this person, but then part of you, like you're having other offers come in, but you want who you want. Because I feel like you've already invested a lot into this person where letting go of them is not an option. However, I do feel like this person is not being honest about what they're doing and who they're seeing. I do feel like there's somebody here that's waiting for this other person to finally contribute to the relationship. Okay. Let me go ahead and get you guys some twin flame messages, okay? What do you, what messages do you have for Taurus when it comes to their person of interest? What messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, when they saw you, it wasn't a coincidence. Woo, they're popping out. Give me a second. Okay. So your person may have somebody at work, okay, that they deal with. Um, this person may be in a situation, you guys may be getting a divorce, or maybe this is a situation where this person is in a divorce, or it has to do with some type of outside roadblock, okay? And work situation is here. So I feel like this person may have somebody at work, they may deal with somebody at work, maybe you guys work with each other, but I feel like there's something here where they needed a level of, a level of assistance and I feel like maybe, like I said, maybe you guys work together for some of you guys. But whatever it is, there's some type of situation that this person needs help with and they're really stressed out about. At the same point in time, they're keeping an eye on you because you make them very happy. Extremely happy, Taurus. Very, very happy. And I feel like due to this outside roadblock it's like they need help in getting this other person out of the way okay in order for you and them to be together one more card please for taurus one more card here for taurus okay yes your person is trying to figure it out but like i said i feel like this person is also weighing the pros and cons should i do this should i not do it and it may be because it involves children Okay, I feel like this person is now wide awake to what you want. 
um, what you actually need. And I feel like this person is definitely in their head overthinking, obsessing over what exactly they need to do in order to get you back. And I feel like it's because this person has been through so much in their past, okay? Their past has obviously done a number on them. There's a lot of healing that needs to go on. And I feel like your person hasn't had the time to heal. And sometimes that time to heal, you have to do alone. You can't heal while being in another relationship. It doesn't work like that. So your person feels like their past did a number on them. And I feel like they're trying to wrap everything up. But in the meantime, it's like, you're like tick tock, okay? Clock is ticking and I gotta go player. So there's definitely something here with that going on. Okay, if you wanna know more about what's going on, how does your person feel about you? What do they want from you? Who else is involved? their next actions, advice, and the outcome, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase your extended. With that being said, Taurus, I love you guys and I will talk to you next time.